Off the Rack, I am Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. Today we're reviewing the recently resurrected Superior Spider-Man number 32 by Dan Slott and Kevin Coley. Basically, it's, it's a little confusing. Well, it, I yeah. thought he was gone. Well, well the they, idea is... And they do ex kind of explain, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, this is what thing, happened in the part when... He when he goes back in time, where he disappears. By the way, he's figuring shit out way too fast, in my opinion. For I think oh, he's, he's figuring it out. I, I think he's figuring it out comfortably fast. Like, I don't want to fucking read eight issues of him yeah, being like, exactly. I'm in the future! I gotta yeah. figure out what to do! Yeah, no, he no. deduces everything. He's been Spider-Man for a long while now, and he's like, I got this. This whole book is just getting to the ending of this book. Yep, just getting to the event. Yeah. Which I kind of didn't see coming, because I was not paying attention to the front cover that says this is the Spider-Verse event. So I was just like, oh cool, this is a fun little story about Spider-Man in the future. And, uh, no. Nope. It was just no, a rallying not. of forces, which... Also is kind of fun. Yeah. Now, for me being a huge, like, silly Spider-Man fan, I was like, ooh, I know who that is, that is, and that is. For you guys, uh, nope. was, was that kind of fun to see different types of Spider-Man? Uh, I, I, I liked it was seeing fun. it. I had no idea who they were, but I was like, no. I like where it's going. Yeah. yeah. I will say, I didn't like how they got there. Mm. I don't like Otto's explanations. His inner monologue drives me insane. Like, he's an arrogant douche nozzle. Yeah. Every yeah. time he talks, he's always going to be an arrogant douche nozzle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I liked it. I, li I liked his dialogue, his in inner dialogue, because he it's is like that the whole book, and it's, it's really funny. How it's kind of fun. How deluded and crazy he is. That's the thing, he's but deluded. Then how does he like get Anna Maria to like him? I guess she's just attracted to him. I'm sure she's not attracted to Peter Parker now that Peter Parker's back in his body. Yeah. I don't normally like Kevin Coley's art. I don't. But. Every scene with Morloon, whoops, I spoiled it, but I didn't because every fucking trade has talked about it. Uh, the guy who they're chasing with the Bioshock 2 face. Yeah. I'm sorry, you're talking about Steampunk Darkseid? Yeah, Steampunk not Dark Darkseid. Side. No, he's not that powerful. Aside from the fact he's that he's super got powerful. the o Omega... He just has a spear. Spider that's that's just a spe oh, well, that's that's just the name for it. I really but he's super fucking powerful. Yeah, Nobody he is. can stop it. Yeah, and he's got a harpoon. Yeah, it's like, really why dumb. is he so powerful? Because he is. Because that's what he is. He's got. He's got a. That's exactly the amount of fucking efforts. Who made him? Where did he come from? J he's got a Straczynski invented him during Spider-Man: The Other. Uh, okay. I mean, he attempts to. It's for, for part. I of, will he say. Explains a little bit. His helmet kind of looks like it has spiders, on, spider eyes on it. No. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it does. He's connected to the spider. Like I just part of it. All I, I saw was Big Sister thing. from Bioshock Two. I like the book. I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool too. I'm so disappointed about the use of Morloon as a character, but um, the yeah, story could be fun. I really wish that the the whole thing didn't hinge on that terrible character. <laughs> Yeah, I like seeing the different Spider-Mans. That's Spider always gonna. Be, I can't wait to see the rest of that. But I know I'm gonna be disappointed because they're gonna kill so many cool different characters. Yeah, I don't want Otto in this. I I'm, I hate the fact that he's here. I want Peter Parker to be. I guess you don't like Superior Spider-Man then. Well, yeah, because he no, is I don't Superior like Spider-Man. Spider yeah. Now he will be Spider. Peter Parker is gonna be the main character. in Superior Spider-Man. No, I know that's the thing. But I want no, no, no. I mean, this in this book in, in was only brought back to tell us this one story. After this, it goes back to Amazing Spider-Man, and Peter Parker is Peter Parker. I thought he was still Superior Spider-Man. No, 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 that's over. It's amazing now? Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, all right. Yeah. If you like Otto, then you will like this book, because Ben hates Otto, and, <laughs> and he, he hates, hates this book. <laughs> I guarantee you, like, if you like Superior Spider-Man, you're going to love it, because it's yeah. just a pure return to the book. And I know a lot of people love that book. Yeah. If you like weird pedophile Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> because of Cam and Cully's art. Uh, how would you rate the art, by the way? I give it a six. The art, because it, it really works, but then it sometimes doesn't. I give the art a seven. I give it a seven. That's the well. thing. Like, mm. I really like a lot of this. It's just yeah. there are a few things that stand out. And yeah, there's a few things that are like the things that, that I don't like. And that about was the art. thing. Like, I didn't think it was Anna Marconi. I thought it was a little kid. Yeah. Now hearing that, I'm like, it doesn't look like one, but I get what he's trying to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't like his Spider-Man. I don't like his his depiction of the main cast, which is a huge problem for me. Well, that would But be everything problem. else, like the sets, the the other characters, the inorganic material looks great. The different Spider-Man? Yep, they look great too. There's yeah. a couple, that when I first started reading it, I was like, I don't like the way he drew Spider-Man. But as I went along, it really grew on me. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. Uh, uh, story. Yeah, I give it a 8. I think it's fine. It, 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 you know what, I'll give it a 9. Because it was just, it's a great issue of Superior Spider-Man. It's another issue of Superior Spider-Man. And it also sets up the like an overall level. score? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give it an 8. I'll give it a 4. Awesome book. The story is cool, it's but I It's funny that you give it like an 8 or a 9. It's a solid, it, it's Marloon. a perfect Spy Superior Spider-Man book. It's just too bad they had to use more loot. <laughs> Uh, but you can't have the story without them, so. Yeah. Anyway, uh, off the rack. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to check us out at the Garden State Comic Fest on August 23rd at the Morristown Hyatt. We will be there. Morris Room B. Morris Room B. Morris Room B. Yep. Basement.
B for basement. <laughs> yep. Yep.